Hi and good day. Forward head posture, a serious epidemic. Spending literally hours, days, weeks, and years in a forward head posture, texting on your smartphone, on the computer, driving without proper support, bringing your head forward, your arms out in front of you. Day-to-day -day routines every single day in this position, head being 12 pounds, for every inch an additional 10 pounds of stress, the back of the neck and shoulders have to hold up. For two inches forward, 32 pounds of stress. Three inches forward, 42 pounds of stress. This forward head posture causes lots of weakening in the posterior or back part of the lower neck and upper back region. That area is called the cervical dorsal junction. The dowager's hump, the cervical dorsal fat pad, the buffalo hump are all the same name of swelling and fatty tissue starting to arise in the lower part of the neck where you look like you have that little hump because of that poor posture. There's significant weakening of the rhomboid muscles that needs to be addressed that must be strengthened. The pectoralis minor and major are contracted, pulling the shoulders forward, the rounded, pronated forward shoulders. The scalenus muscles, as well as the platysmus muscle, is extremely contracted. This platysmus muscle prevents the jaw from drooping. This is involved with the sagging skin underneath the jaw area, the loose skin. This muscle is extremely important because with poor posture, forward head posture, this muscle becomes very weak and very shortened. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you two very important stretches of the scalenus and this platysmus muscle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab onto our neck like we're choking ourselves, but we're not gonna choke ourselves. Take our two hands, cross your hands like this, take the top of the neck and I want you to pull that muscle all the way down, down to your collarbone and hold it. I want you to turn all the way up to the left. You're going to feel that muscle just stretch. Now what I want you to do, I want you to take your chin and I want you to shoot it up, up to the ceiling like this. Take the bottom chin and push it all the way forward as you're holding these muscles down. and you'll hold that about 15, 20 seconds. Then you're gonna let go. You can cross your hands again, whatever's comfortable, top of the neck, pull the muscles all the way down, hold it down tight, look up the other way. You should feel nice, nice burning stretch along those scalenus muscles. Now protrude the bottom jaw up to the ceiling like this. Push it forward. and you'll feel stretching of that platysmus as well as the scalenus muscles initially and the platysmus right after as you protrude the jaw forward. Do that stretch after immediately you'll feel as if you can bring your head back easier because remember when those muscles are shortened this is part of that whole biomechanic instability that's going on within the muscles that's allowing your head to protrude forward and keeping it in that comfortable position. Now stretching these two muscles, the scalenus and the platysmus, it's extremely helpful for you. By doing that stretch, you'll immediately see a tremendous change instantaneously where your head doesn't wanna feel like it has to stay forward. When these muscles are contracted, it's shortened. When they're shortened, they pull everything forward. They become that way because of the repetition over hour after day after week after year of this forward head posture. Be very conscientious from looking forward and preventing that forward head posture as well as preventing that rounded shoulder because this will help slow down degeneration and make you feel a whole lot better. Leave your questions below. Please share this video and thank you for watching and most important Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.